In this video, we are going to learn how we can create this effect where if I scroll down, you could see the image goes from left around here and right or based on my movement of my scroll, it goes in certain direction. You could see pretty cool, right? And I've also used it to my official website or official landing page. If I scroll down, you could see it just changes uh, direction like this and it's very easy to do. So let's quickly get started. And I also want you guys to know that I actually opened like a Facebook page. So in case you want to ask some questions and all in the Facebook group, you could ask it. Or if you want to know about something related to my template, any issue that you face, or if you just want something new that you would like to like me to make the video about it. So yeah, just follow it around here. I'll uh, add some more stuff that I'm going to create and yeah. So the first step I'm just going to create is a container like this and full width. And inside of this one, I would, to be honest, we don't really need to do that. But again, uh, maybe let's just create a container like this so that we have a scroll area or something to scroll rather than just a space but inside below this i'll just create a container which would have all my images so let's make this full width and make it go from left to right like this and inside of this i'll add my image so let's add an image you know what i'll just use my image why not like this and you can actually duplicate it multiple times like this and then do some styling around here how much spacing you want and stuff so 10 looks okay to me and then before we actually duplicate we should have given it a class of dm scrolling image like this so let's just give it a dm scrolling image class let's delete all this one so that we don't have to manually add it or everywhere so you see css class has been given dm scrolling image let's duplicate 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 and let's duplicate five of them now depending on the size of the image that you want like how big it should look like the amount of image that you use around here would be different okay so let's think that this would go left or maybe it doesn't matter right because based on the movement it goes all left to right so let's just call it like i guess one i don't know so let's just call it one and then let's duplicate this one and let's call this one two like this so this is how it looks currently i'm going to add more scrolling area for me just for this tutorial and this is how it looks right now now below this two we will actually add our html widget so what i can do is i can simply add it below this one so maybe i add it inside this container like this so now right now it should be below these two containers okay so if you have any other container around here with your own content you could add it inside that or maybe add it inside this one at the bottom but i'm not sure if it will work or not so just add a different container and add the html widget like this the top one i'm going to call it as dm scroll left and this one i'm going to call it as dm scroll right so dm scroll right okay and then in our HTML, I will actually just paste it and I'll show you what it does. So let's do preview changes and see if it's doing any changes. And you could see it's not actually doing anything and it's usually related to like some caching and all. So I'm just going to do publish because I have caching enabled on my website. So it's probably not working right. Okay, so if I do it publish, it did work. And you could say it is working, but you could say I don't have enough images to do all this stuff. So what I'm simply going to do is I'm just going to duplicate my images. So let's say if you only had four images, you don't want to have multiple stuff. Just keep repeating four of them in like a uh, order. Okay. And don't worry if it does not look right around here. It will look, uh, look right on this page or in the live page. So I'm just going to add it. So let's say if you were using four images, then just duplicate them together uh, again so that now there would be eight images or 12 images based on your requirement. And you can see that because there was some spacing happening around here, I just duplicated the images until it filled out the stuff around here like this. So now you could see 
it works perfectly but how about we don't want to have like this many images around here what we simply need to do is go into our code and here i have given 20% width of the image so each image so in like a screen there would be approximately 5 images you could see 1 2 3 4 5 because 100 divided by 5 is 20 so 20% but if i let's say do 25 around here like this and uh, probably preview changes is not working so to publish like this and then try and now you could see we have four images showing like this so based on how much you want if you use like 50 then only two would be showing if you reduce to 10 then uh, 10 images would be showing or at once like this and then for each tablet and mobile so if we go to tablet you could see i have a media with 1024 so for tablet it would be 30 percent so if you want to have different sizing for tablet add it around here and different sizing for mobile add it around here you could see max width 767 if i hover around here it says that device is under 767 pixels this is for mobile and if i hover on it it says device is under 1024 pixels so this is for tablet okay and that's all you need to do this we are actually using gsap you could see gsap and scroll trigger to do all that and it just works if you find any spacing just duplicate it until it like works nicely and another thing is uh, it's better to add this to inside its own container rather than keeping it empty like this so let's say if i added this this one into this container and then if i duplicate this one and add it inside of this container let's delete this one let's delete this one we can also move our html widget below this one okay let's publish it and i'll show you why let's make it like 20. if i do inspect you could see i'm able to scroll left and right so if you try to wave this page in your uh, mobile or tablet you will see that you are actually able to move your page left and right and we don't want that and we could do it by just going into a container go into additional option and overflow hidden let's do that and now you could see that the effect is working but i'm not able to move it left and right and there's no scroll bar left to right so yeah that's all in this video just moving your images left and right based on scroll looks nice looks clean and if you used it nicely like the home page that i've created around your for my landing page you will see it looks nicer and i actually created like uh, repetitive stuff like this you see this image and this image is same so you just have to create duplicates so yeah thanks for watching consider checking my products which is elementor templates check my blog section for like cool stuff too like some of the codes around here and then add any questions or requirements in my group so yeah goodbye thanks for watching